Hello guys, welcome back. Now the fun part starts. We are going to create our flow, which is going to make the HTTP call out and we are going to access our employee data from the source system through this flow. Time for a quick joke. What does a spy do when he is cold? He goes undercover. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is we will go over to a quick find here and look for flow and we'll go to the process automation and click on new flow here. Okay. And the flow that I'm going to create is going to be a screen flow, right? So I want first somebody to enter the employee ID of the employee that he's trying to in fetch the information off. And then we are going to make the call out and then the response that comes, we are going to display that response in the form of a UI as well, another screen. So here I'm going to choose a screen flow and then we'll hit the create button here. The first thing is we will create a screen. So I'm going to choose screen here and uh, the label we are going to say enter or input employee data. Okay. And here I will add a text component on the screen. So this is going to be the text component and we will call it as enter employee ID, right? This is what we want. And it is a required parameter and then we are going to say done. So our first screen is ready. And now this is where we are going to invoke an action. Okay, so here I'm gonna choose action here. And out of all these actions, we are going to create an HTTP callout here. There is a button, create HTTP callout, and we are going to call our employee external service. And we will provide the name credential. So what we are saying here is, what is the system that you're trying to hit? So all that information, we have provided it in the name credential because name credential has the URL of the system that we want to hit, the external system. And the external credentials contain the authorization as well as the protocol to use and also who is going to be our auth provider, right? So here I'm going to choose this is the name credential. And then if you see the moment you chose, it populated the URL. Now, which URL it is? This is the URL of our source system. If you remember, we got this URL from the my domain in the source system. Hit the next here and we'll call it as fetch employee data with ID. Okay, and what is the method? You can choose a get or a post. So right now there we are going to choose get. We are just fetching the information. And here the URL path, this is the URL up till dot com. Now what is the URL path? If you remember in the postman, this is the call we made, right? So if you go here, this is the call we made and it has slash services slash data, the version S objects, employee HR data. And we are going to just go ahead and copy this and we will go back and paste it. And we're not going to pass a fixed ID. I'm going to pass a parameter and I'll call it as ID. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. And ID is of which type it is of the type string. So if you have, let's say more parameters, you can add them into this add key here. If you have more than one parameter, we will set up them through the query parameter here. Now it is asking you provide the sample response. Now, when you are making this call out, how the response looks like, right? And here I'm going to provide the sample response. If you remember when we made this call, this is the response that came, right? So here we're going to go ahead and copy it. And we are going to paste the sample response here and we're going to hit the review button and all of this is done and we're going to hit the done. Last activity date is of the type date and done. So we have specified